All right, it's day 89, or actually 25 for these two seedlings. Things are going really well. That uh, kind of weird effect you see with bars of shade, you know, sometimes moving, that's because of the lights. I guess the frequency of the lights is pretty low, so you can see it with a camera. Um, sometimes even a little bit with my naked eyes. But anyway, the growth is going exponential, even though these plants are looking more like cocklebur bushes than uh, proper honeydew vines or cantaloupe vines. That leaf is really big. And the original first true leaves are at the very bottom now. They're extremely dark green. And um, I imagine they're still pretty productive. I mean, they're not too far away from the lights. Although the problem you have with indoor lights is you've got to put them as close to the leaves as possible without burning them. In this case, I'm not really worried about that. And I'm going to measure this big leaf. Uh, this one was the closest one to that 1,680 lumen bulb. You know, it's 12 centimeters in diameter across. So that's pretty big at this stage. So here I'm just excavating this uh, third wheel here that really serves no function. Uh, there's a thick layer of sand. It's moist at the bottom, but, you know, that was not really going to go anywhere and not worth my time or resources to develop and we have this other plant there so uh, I'll probably talk about that in you know a, a separate series if it becomes anything interesting so you might have another vine going off you know at the first node here and this first node is truly gigantic it's got all sorts of things going on and you know you can just see a lot of meristem activity this is really different from my honeydew series last year because I grew that purely in the sun. So the phenotypes we're seeing here could be due to the fact that I'm raising these under strong LED lights in close proximity for you know up to 16 hours a day or even more sometimes. So that's really different from being in the wild having some uh, you know mild morning sun and then facing maybe two or three hours of very strong afternoon sun coupled with blistering heat, you know, a couple of days of fog and overcast days thrown in here and there. So the growing conditions are fairly different, but you can see spines and spikes already appearing and lots of meristem activity.